first step is liquid foundation for that perfect doll skin. I'm also going to apply it all over my lips. I use Sephora's Jumbo Pencil in Legend Snow to cover my moles, then apply concealer on top. If you have none, you can skip this step. I also apply it on my lips to hide my natural lip color. Then I apply a powder foundation. My eyebrows are already dark, so I extend the ends with an angled brush and Sephora's Matte Black Eyeshadow in Black Lace. For the eye, I apply Urban Decay's Original Eyeshadow Primer. The base color for my right eye is going to be a matte gray. This is Fifth Avenue from Sephora. With a matte black, I start shading inward and into my crease. With the white jumbo pencil again, I line my eye and create a wing. When I do this, the line starts to turn gray, so I pat on shimmery white eyeshadow on top. This white is from the Microsmooth Baked Eyeshadow Trio in Solar Eclipse from the Sephora collection, which is sadly discontinued. Any white eyeshadow works. Now I line my bottom water and lash line with a black eyeliner by Rimmel London, smoking it out with an angled brush. Then I curl my lashes and glue on false lashes. These are the Voluminous Pair number 9 from Daiso. I also cut a different pair of lashes in half and glued it on the outer bottom corner. On the left side of my face, I do the same thing but switch the colors. For my left eyebrow, I color all the hairs with the white pencil going back and forth. It gets clumpy so I use a clean mascara wand and brush through it. With the white eyeshadow again, I pat that all over the brow to hide the black color. Now I apply eyeshadow primer and white eyeshadow all over my lid. Going in with black eyeshadow, I round out the outer edge and blend inward with the white, dragging it into my crease. To line my eye, I use Sephora's waterproof liquid liner in black lace. For the wing, I draw a diagonal line and drag it down to the center of my eye. For the bottom water and lash line, I'm using white eyeliner. It gets a little clumpy, so I smooth it out with a brush. Now I curl my lash and glue this false eyelash on. Then I glue the other lash at the bottom corner. With a lip brush and black body paint, I draw a stripe on the right side of my bottom lip. For the top, I make a half heart and fill that in. For the left side, I do the same thing using white body paint, both of by Maran. Also, I forgot to contour my nose. I'm making straight lines down the sides to make it look smaller. With the same brown eyeshadow, I'm drawing a curve on each side of my face. With a darker brown, I go over it at the bottom edge of the lines. With white body paint, I use the end of my lip brush and make three dots top and bottom of the line. Then I use Revlon's lash glue to attach black ribbon. These will be the stitches on my face. For the left side, I do the opposite colors. I use black eyeliner for the holes, twisting the pencil for perfect circles. Then I apply glue and stick on white ribbon. After I put on my wig, I forgot the most important part. For the finishing touch, I use black body paint and a lip brush to draw a wavy line down the middle of my face, neck, and chest. Then I go back and paint in the stitches. 